so a end to end complete project solving actually also become a very good learning opportunity than learning in a very theoretical uh, traditional way so you know, when we are actually teaching in seto this is exactly how we our curriculum is designed and we never start with that today we are going to learn statistics or today we are going to learn logistic regression that's never an interest we always start with a business problem statement we first try to do along with our learners the first principle solving that okay if i have to solve this business problem what all things i will have to do now here is the data that client has given now let's go into doing it and then in the process of solving that they actually learn the different techniques because then it becomes fun right then you have the interest tomorrow i will go back to the class i will learn something new and i'll solve this problem better Yes. So, what would be your uh, feedback? I mean, I see matches very much how you are planning, but what would be your feedback for say to it? So, uh, another suggestion I have is. Uh... You know, being able to have a community of learners is very important. Uh, I especially uh, realized that when I was doing my own self-learning, that uh, one is the mentor and mentee relationship, right, or a faculty-student relationship while um, this program is ongoing. But a lot can be also learned through the community engagement as well. And in some way, this community can be formed where uh, there are different people trying to solve different problems and coming and sharing what problems they are facing. You can learn a lot by where the other people are stumbling as well, right? Or uh, maybe they, they ran ahead of you and faced the problem that you were going to face already, or they tried to solve the same problem in a very different way. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you one example, right? In case of telecom churn prediction, you can you can take a three-month window and make it a binary conversion problem also. For example, say month one, month two, what was the person doing, his behavior, and did he default or uh, did he uh, churn, uh, terminate the services in month three or not? Now, this is one approach to solve the problem. But another approach to solve the problem could be the entire life of that person with the telecom company. Let's say if he has been with the company for 14 months as a subscriber, uh, using whatever time period there is and then predicting as his behavior trend changes, uh, whether this person has a risk of termination or not. Now, these are two very different thinking and approaches to solve the same problem. And nothing is right or wrong. You would only know what works better when you try out both of the approaches. But just because someone else thought that way, and I didn't think of it uh, this this way uh, is a learning in itself and and then when he was trying to or she was trying to solve it the other way uh, what challenges did he or she face uh, is a big learning right so one is community engagement and community learning uh, i'm sure you are creating that atmosphere where people are engaging with each other as well and learning from uh, the peers that's one second is uh, I would suggest the ability to, uh, you know, have this hammer and nail approach, um, you know, teaching this uh, while I was for the last several minutes saying that start with the problem and take a uh, business problem and then uh, go down. I, I would also suggest the flipped version is also possible where you teach students multiple hammers and then they uh, uh, learn on themselves to find the nails. Right. For example, binary classification using XGBoost is one hammer. Collaborative filtering for recommendation engines is another hammer. Right. Uh, let's say deep learning for uh, recognition of object is another hammer you have. Now you can just teach these hammers and let students figure out what all nails they can hit these hammers on. Uh, that's also a good approach. So self learning, uh, how to learn to learn uh, is also very important and that should also be taught.